In our previous tutorial, we have used relationship to display information from a different table in uh, this uh, screen. So now uh, the problem is uh, this is a link field. That means if we make a change here, it will update the uh, original table, in this case the person table, instead of uh, making it a uh, data related to the main object, uh, which is the asset object in this case. So let's say uh, one of our requirement is every time we type in the person name here, it will copy over the data and this data will be part of the asset table. So in this case, uh, what we can do is we can add two more fields here to the asset table and make this uh, field associated with a crossover domain. So every time we select a value here, instead of pointing these two fields to the uh, uh, related table, it will copy over the data from the original related table and copy that over here and then we can make any change to the data here without affecting the original table. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do next. So first I'm gonna add two new fields and I'm gonna make when I change this field name, it will copy the name of the guy over to the asset uh, table here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open the asset object. I'm gonna add a new field. I'm gonna call it a uh, owner name and I'm gonna make it a text field with a length of 100 characters and I'm gonna call it owner name as well all right so now uh, I got this field but uh, before I uh, apply the chain I need to do something first so first of all, I need to go back to our original um, owner field. Uh, where is it? I need to click on filter here to display an important person. Yep, earlier I call it a person ID field. Now let's go to the domain application and create a new crossover domain. Okay, so I'm gonna call it uh, owner copy uh, cross over owner details. Okay, and now first I will click on new row here and choose the source uh, table. So in this case, I'm gonna copy the name of the guy from the person record. So I'm gonna put the person table here and then I will have to enter a uh, list where clause that uh, it house maximum win 5000 uh, record that in we it will pull data from so in this case I'm gonna put a person ID equal person ID and that's it and now down here I will tell maximum to copy like if it open the record, it uh, managed to find out the record that it can uh, copy data from, then it will copy the data from this source field. So in this case, I'm going to call it a, a uh, display name field. And then we will copy this field to this field. So I believe I call it own uh, name field in the asset table. And I will choose uh, accept no value as well so I'm gonna click on OK here so I got this domain already so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on return with value here and it will set that domain to this uh, person ID field okay so now I will need to make a uh, apply the chain to match chain to the database I will need to apply it okay all 
All right, I'm gonna leave it running in the background. Now I'm going back to the application designer application and I'm gonna open the asset application. Now I'm gonna delete all of these uh, fields earlier that I don't need. All right, so what I can do is uh, I'm gonna add a new field and now I'm gonna associate it with the new field that I added to the asset object. So in this case, um, just type out the name field here, right? So because uh, the database configuration process is still running, so it will show a small invalid binding here, but that's okay. I'm gonna increase the size of the length of this field a little bit. It's just a display size only. So in this case, I'm gonna put it 30 just to make it a bit longer. All right. So now if we go back to our asset application, then if I type in uh, maybe instead of zone, I just do it again. Yeah. So you can see after I type in a correct ID from the person table, it will go to that table, look up for a record where the ID match with this text and then it will pull out the display name of that record and copy it over to this uh, field. So let's say if I write something here and click on save, then it will store it onto the asset table. And now if I am open the uh, people application and I'm going to open the record, I can see that it doesn't change my original data. And if I'm saying Frank Zone uh, the name, okay. Now if I updated this field and I'm going back to the asset application I can see that this field doesn't change because this field associated to the asset table but now if I do that again you can see that it copies the data from the original person table and copy it over here so that's how the crossover domain uh, works in Maximo